Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fat Matt Adventures video. Me, Matthew, Ethan, and my buddy Will. And uh, what are we doing on this trip? We're doing the Rim Rocker Trail. So, it uh, goes from uh, Montrose, Colorado, yeah, over to Moab, Utah. Heck yeah, how long is it gonna take? Uh, it's 160 miles. Uh, we allotted for two days. I don't know that it's gonna take that long though. This is steep. Deep sand. Two miles an hour. Sliding back and forth. Because it's super bumpy. Chainsawing like you did yesterday. We got cows! Extract a burrito. Ah! Okay, cool. Well, let's get to it. All right. Beautiful. Good morning, Will. Morning. What are you cooking? Doing some pork sausage. Uh, we're gonna do some eggs. This is a great way to pack your eggs. And we're gonna do some uh, tortillas and make some breakfast tacos. Awesome. And then I'm gonna be over here cooking the tortillas in the cast iron skillet on the gas one stove. Now Will's cooking the eggs, mixing it with the sausage. Looks delish. And I've got the tortillas over here with some cheese melting in them. Alrighty. And we're going to put that sausage and eggs in there and feast. Breakfast to champions. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. How's the burrito? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Maybe it's awesome and it is. Strange kid. This is Darby. Hey, Darby. She's Will's camping dog. What you think? <laughs> you ready to hit the road? Yeah. All right, let's go. We are going to just continue down uh, the Rim Rocker Trail. We're about uh, fourth of the way through. Sweet. We're right here. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. Come into the valley, we've got some different types of landscapes coming up here.
Are you having fun, buddy? Uh-huh. You like these off-road trails? Yep. They're awesome. Uh-huh. I don't know if you guys noticed, noticed my new hat. It's called Rabbit One. Yeah. Very cool. You look cute. Thanks. Got some rain clouds coming. See that? Tight turn. This is a cool area. Look at that. See the rocks and the cliffs and everything? Yeah. Nice.
this has been an awesome second leg of the trip so far. Loving these roads. Looks like we have an old uh, mine that's been closed in right here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I say we go back there and make lunch. What do you think? Yeah, that'll work. All right, guys. It looks like we found our epic spot for lunch. This has some amazing views. I'll show you that here in just a second, okay? Look at this spot. Take you to the edge over here. That's a long way down. Holy moly. Look at that view. See, there's a remnants of an old mining shaft here. And then, let's see, where's my finger? Not sure if you can see that, but over there, there's a, an old mine. And then there's another one right over there. Hard to see, but pretty cool. We're just walking around and I found this big old cache of old tin cans. Check this out. This used to be a mining area, and uh, maybe this was food that the miners were eating and whatnot. It's pretty cool though. All right guys, so we ate lunch. We're gonna hit the trail again. We've got a lot of miles to cover until we get to our campsite for the night, so look in the lens. So we're gonna get back on the road and try to find a nice camp spot for the evening.
the pavement again for a little while. It's uh, very welcoming after all that rough stuff. It looks so good. It does. Will's talking about wanting to jump in the river. I don't blame him. It was about 100 degrees back on dirt. All right, we are going up a very steep incline here, back on the dirt, in Fort Low at the moment. Give Will some distance up there. Steep. Yeah, it is steep. And bumpy. Whoa. And now we're back up at the, close to the top anyway. Look at that rock over here. Limb that fell down here and Will is gonna cut it with his electric chainsaw. It's not completely in the road, but we're gonna clean up the road anyway. That's how she goes. Bye little tree. You're welcome, everybody. All right, back in the truck. Ethan, how you doing? Good. Yeah, you having fun? Yeah. Love you. Love you too. Ready to go four-wheeling some more? Four-wheeling. Off-roading. Yes. Let's go. All right, we're on the trail again. We've got some other trees that are kind of hanging out here, but we'll be all right. Just trying to avoid the pinstriping, if possible. Looks like we're gonna do some more chainsawing. Sweet. Much better. Thank you, sir. Always got to be prepared. All right, here goes. All right, folks, we're going to get some more miles under us. So I'll bring you guys back if anything else interesting happens. Oh, more chainsaw? Yep, more chainsaws. All right, it is 3.46, Sunday afternoon, and I think we have maybe 40 miles to go or so before we find our camp spot. So that's exciting. All right, let's go.
Looking good. You're clear. Hold that. Yeah, you're good. All right, everybody, we came across some sandy sand. Looks like deep sand. Um, so we'll see how we get along here. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Looks like we're doing okay. A little softer than going over those rocks, that's for sure. But yeah, cool change of, of road. Now, how in the hell does this deep of sand end up on a mountain that's 8,000 feet tall? <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard him, but he was asking uh, how does sand end up on a side of a, or a top of a mountain like this, 8,000 feet up. <laughs> and just like that, we're back into the shrubbery and dirt roads. So there wasn't too much sand, the direction we went anyway. And you guys can see the mountains in the foreground there. I believe those are the LaSalle Mountains in Utah. I could be wrong, but I believe that's what they are. So that means we're going in the right direction. We're still trying to find a camp spot. It's four o'clock now. It's about an hour. I think since I checked in with you guys, I can't remember. But we're gonna try to find a camp spot, I think around five o'clock or so, five or six, so we can set up tents or sleep in the back of the truck or figure something out. Got some more sand coming up. awesome adventure all right here's a good view of the left hand side let me show you guys that all right we came across a fun little section here it's hard to tell here but it's kind of off camber uphill and a big drop off to the left very narrow road though there's not a lot of room if you just don't look down you're fine right Ethan yeah I'm looking down Yeah, there was a Jeep Wrangler towing a trailer with a rooftop tent on the trailer. And they passed, they went past us and they must, they must have been hauling booty because they're nowhere to be seen. All right, we just pulled into what we are going to call our camp for the night, guys. And it's pretty nice. Let me give you a little tour here. So we've got a fire pit. And this site is marked on the map. So it's legal to camp here. And over here... We've got a pretty nice view out of the trees, so I'm gonna show you that view. Let's go. What do you think, bud? Good what? camp spot? Yeah. All right, cool, let's show them. Oh, M&Ms, snack time. Well, man, those bumpy roads, they beat me up. What about you? Yes, sir. Yes, Goodness. they did. How are you? Good. Did you get shaken around quite a bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was sliding back and forth in my leather seats because I have <laughs> nylon shorts on. That's hilarious. And so we'd hit the bumps and I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. All right, so we got hamburgers on the mini tonight for me and Ethan. And Will's going to have him some, some chicken. What's what's the uh, sauce in there? Uh, I don't even know. You'll want them, it. Oh, cool. <laughs> Surprise chicken meal. All right, the hamburger's done. Ethan. Take a bite and let us know how you like it. That's the best burger I actually have had. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Chicken is done. So that's gonna go in a tortilla. It's gonna be good. <laughs> a little warm, a little warm. All right, taste test. How you like it? Good. Good stuff? Yeah. Awesome. Great dinner. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the burgers, man. All right, everybody, we ate dinner and we are gonna relax for a while, enjoy each other's company in the nice weather, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. All right, everybody, uh, that summarized the trip. We had a blast out here. That's gonna do it for part one. Like I said, we got lots of footage, so we're gonna have part one, part two, part three, who knows? Um, they might be extended videos, so uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and end it here, like I said. We will see you guys in part two. Thank you so much for joining us for this adventure. We'll see you on the next trip.